gig at Drama's Theatre. So, a bit nervous about that. It should be cool. Ah, it's going to be fine, man. It's going to be great. No, it's going to be If great. something goes wrong, you know we got on window. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> If something goes it's going wrong. to be a YouTube fail. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get no by this. That will go viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See this guy fuck up. No, it's not a positive thing. Nothing's going to fuck up. Yeah, but, but, but seriously, man, seriously. I, I, I was editing your film last night, you know? And I, I, when I edit, you know, I hear your voice many times. But damn it, man. I fell in love with your voice. Seriously. Nope. And I go, I go to web page and see this uh, one that you were a TV with this girl. And you sing uh, and people behind you. Oh, you got an amazing voice, too, man. But w when you make songs, you try to make them like uh, radio friendly, or you make from your heart. Um, well, it's a tough question, and the reason why is because everything I do is from my heart. Everything, everything about me is from the heart. But mm. I do love radio, and I do love pop music, and I always have because you know, I, I, radio has been the constant friend in my life. Yeah, you know, I've yeah. always, I've always known that, not so much in this country, but in England. Radio was always my best friend because mm. I've been I've always spent a lot of time by myself and radio was the was always the thing I knew I could count on. So I love radio and most of the artists that I like are radio friendly. So some of the stuff I do comes out as radio friendly and it's not necessarily a conscious decision. It's more a thing that that's what I love. When I first started out and with my first album, I tried to be liked by everyone and I just learned that it's just not it's a losing battle that you're doing you just got to like yourself keep true to yourself and I think that this new album is like that and definitely from every album on I ever do from now on if I ever get a chance to make another album it always gonna be what I want to sound like not that I try to please anyone on this new album or the first album it's just that you'd get upset if someone said they didn't like it but now I'm thinking well if you get ten people in one room six of them might like it Three of them might think it's a fucking piece of shit, and one of them might think, well, I don't really care. And that, and that's just the way life is. It's just the way life is. And I've had to grow up as an artist and realize that. So it makes my life easy because I really don't care anymore. But... All right, man, let's go and do it. Let's go yeah. and do this interview before we get late. <laughs> we stayed outside. <laughs> Problem, problem, <laughs> always problem. <laughs> Let's go and see Kim, man. Let's go and see what. Let's go. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do a funky version of. I just don't know anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's like in the BBC. I'm sure it's exactly the same as the BBC. But getting in here is like getting into some kind of prison. <laughs> That's true. It's like you kick out blocks everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. Good evening. Good to see Kim. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the studio. All right, man. So. Okay. Can we just wait for him? Yeah. Just sit there. Okay. Turn on the radio. Cool. Do you guys have to listen to your own radio station? Yeah. Pretty much lunch. Hi, Jack. Hey. How are you? Calls. Yeah. How are you, man? Ah, I'm doing fine. You're right. I'm good. I'm good, man. How are you, man? Good to see you. Everything alright? Everything is in the brewing. Yeah, they go better, man. They go better, man. Are you standing guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the schedule, man? Uh, yeah, just talking. We start with some men, and so, then uh, a little more serious one. I've been writing for some songs uh, from singers in Italy. Okay. Uh, I've been All writing, the singers? Yeah, I've been writing for uh, two different artists in Italy. So, if you want to. Well, uh, and you were in, the, it's in Bergen? Uh, yeah, I was in Bergen uh, this summer. Uh, you did your yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, no, that was good. Yeah. So, whatever you want to ask me about. I will ask videos. Spoko. Yeah. 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 And I will try it in Norwegian. And yeah, yeah. You, uh, you stop me if you don't. Know. Stop it. Are we on now? No, no, we are not. Okay. Still right. Cool. <laughs> Uh, 
Alicia Keys var dette. Her i Buskerudsendingen Empire State of Mind. In i studio, uh, Jack Ruben Archley. Uh, jeg vet ikke hvor mange ganger, Jack, har du hørt Hit the Road, Jack? Har du aldri hørt den noen ganger, antagelig? Yeah. Ja, yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> yeah. Great, great song, actually. It's a great song. Um, and you're going to tour now? Yeah, well, um, I've been doing some uh, shows here and there, and um, tomorrow night uh, I'm playing drama. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm always on tour, really. In my mind, I'm always on tour. You hold out all the time, and you play a lot physically, and you have concerts, and you play alone. Uh, one band band. Uh, yeah, tomorrow night is uh, something pretty cool actually. It's uh, it's only the second show that I've done with this. Um, uh, it's a pretty unique thing I do. It's a one man band kind of thing, but not with uh, not with a drum on my back and some tambourines on my shoulders. It's not that kind of one man. Band. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what kind of artifacts? Uh, artifacts in um, so. Well, it's it's pretty unique. I use um, computers and looping uh, looping pedals and uh, keyboards. Uh, Ableton Live, which is a program in uh, my Apple Apple Mac. Um, and it's unique in the sense that it's uh, not many people do it because it's pretty complicated. Mm. But it's great because it gives me the chance to um, go on stage, tour by myself, and not be restricted to the acoustic guitar. Mm. It's a pretty cool show. Uh, it's very, uh, it's very exciting to do it because it's it's always uh, flying by the seat of my pants. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> one mistake and it's all over. Or you can't even see the point on the can't the blame on anyone. No, that's exactly right. Yeah, I've got no bass player or drummer to blame. But but are you a little ensemble also? I kind of lonely. Um, yeah, because I mean, when I was in Bergen, I, I got a little lonely, and I've toured all across Norway. Uh, I've played 50 shows, uh, all the way from you know, Grimstad all the way to Chickens, and that got quite lonely. Because mm. every night you're in a, another hotel and. Um, but with the wonders of the internet, you know, you're not so lonely. You know, you, can you have all this to taste. It. Yeah, Facebook, <laughs> chat, and Twitter. There seems like a million things now: Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, YouTube. But uh, yeah, so but that's the nature of being a musician, right? Mm. You know. Vi i Bergen, uh, sammen med en annen kjent sanger, som det heter. Yeah, I uh, I got the, got the show to play with um, Joe Cocker, yeah. which was uh, I, I'm actually I actually am. Uh, a really big Joe Cocker fan. Yeah. So when they called me up and said uh, you need to go to Bergen to open for Joe Cocker, I was like, wow. <laughs> so because uh, I, I actually saw Joe Cocker in '93 when I was a very young lad, and I saw him in Los Angeles, and he played the exact same show then that he did when I was in Bergen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still great. It's yeah. still an amazing show. And uh, <clears throat> didn't get a chance to meet him, but I, I was actually um, drinking in the bar afterwards with the band and the manager, mm. and I actually didn't know he was a manager. I asked him, what do you do? And he said to me, well, I'm, I'm the manager, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Great experience. Um, do you hold up on a new CD also? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I came out with a CD this autumn and uh, called The Opal Tree. Uh, I've been lucky that it's been getting some good reviews. Um, and uh, it's all written by me and that's what I love doing. It's, it's songwriting is what I'm about. Um, songwriting first and uh, performing second, a close second. And then the new CD is, you know, it's it's been released on my own label. And I, I'm doing everything independently, which I really like doing, because I think that's the nature of the music industry nowadays. And it means that I have a say on everything that I do, which I think an artist should do. I think that's the true nature of being an artist. You know, so it's like if, you know, if, you, if you're not in an independent record company, it's like someone else putting clothes on for you. You know, today you're going to wear this jumper, and you know tomorrow you're going to wear those shoes. So. Well, just be really nice. I'm going to see this one. Yeah, um, I actually got asked to um, write some songs for Ita two Italian artists. One is called The Beat Twins, and they're a young duo, 19 years old. And uh, the other one is uh, an X Factor runner-up. He came in second uh, with this year's X Factor, Davide Morgavara. So I uh, went down there and I wrote some songs with him, and it was very cool actually. I, I went all the way down south and. They were cooking food for us 24/7, and I got—I I think I put on like three stone when I was there. Every time, every time we stopped, hey, do you want some food? Do you want some food? <laughs> so it was a great experience, and the and both albums are coming out this spring. And uh, for me, it was a beautiful thing because I love songwriting, mm. and um, to be asked to write songs for other people was really uh, a, a, really a compliment for me. And I hope to do more of that. So, uh, oh. I'm actually going to France, uh, Cannes Midi uh, convention uh, in a week, a week from now to introduce my music to many managers. There's, there's a big music festival there, so that's what I'm doing straight after the, the Okay. Gig.
Kort oppsummert skriver altså sanger også for to italienske artister. Vært nede, dette kommer på deres plater senere i år. Jobber med egen plate, skal til USA og spille inn den etter hvert. Kommer til høsten, er det planen? Din, din uh, spring. Scene. Spring til våren allerede. Eh, og skal også om en uke ned til Cannes for å presentere musikken sin for flere musikkprodusenter der nede en stor anledning. Men aller først kommer du altså til Drammen Teater Studioscenen i morgen kveld klokka 19. Et slags... Ja, nå er jo Bernhoft den norske artisten som fikk Spørremannsprisen veldig hot med sitt enmannsshow. Er det litt i tiden? Uh, a little bit like that. Uh, I, I use more technology than he does. He, he's analog in the sense that he uses a loop pedal. Uh, I, I am digital in the sense that I, I, everything I do goes through a computer. Uh, and I use keyboards and stuff like that. So, but it, yeah, it's, it's the same concept, but uh, it's my own unique thing on it. But Burnt Up is great. He's, he has an, I think he has the best white voice I've heard in a long time. He really does have a great voice. Yeah. Because so. Jack Rubinacci and he has David Letterman. <laughs> Burn off being there. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good luck with that, anyway. You brought your guitar, not your computer, or no. uh, en, en, alt annet du trenger uh, til konserten i morgen, men en liten smakevit har du til oss. Ja. Yeah. Hva er det? This is uh, an acoustic funky version of the uh, first track of my album called uh, I Just Don't Know Anymore. Got my finger on the red line my heart is beating like a drum I lit a banger for my heart and my mind and my body But my soul won't come I'm looking at my own reflection I can't believe what I've become Sometimes I wanna tear the skin from my bones And grind my bones into a potion for love I used to be so sharp but nothing's like it was before Cause I just don't know anymore I just don't know anymore No, I just don't know anymore I just don't know Oh, and I try, and I try, and I try But I just don't know I'm kicking in the wrong direction I'm coming up against myself I'm torn between my arrogance and my pride and my hope and there's moments of doubt I'm looking at my own reflection I can't believe what I've become Sometimes I wanna tear the skin from my bones and grind my bones into a pussy for I love And I used to be the dog the open up to a higher floor But I just don't know anymore No, I just don't know anymore No, I just don't know anymore I just don't know anymore And I try and I try and I try But I just don't know Wow! <laughs> Jack Rubinacci, thank you very much, uh, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you, you, thank you for having me, I appreciate oh, it. Oh, that's good. Here's, uh, <laughs> now we're going to talk about Norsk, this is Lucky Lips and Sweetheart. Strålen. Thank you, man. It's good. Do you like a song, man? Yeah, thanks. <laughs>